Hello, I'm Gus Downing, and with me today is Rod Hall, the VP of Global Sales for Universal Surveillance Systems, and Greg Saputo, the new Senior Director of Sales for the Southeast. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you, Gus. Glad to be here. Rod, can you tell us a little bit about USS, the, the history, <coughs> the, the, the background, and give us a feel for the organization? I'd be glad to. Uh, USS was founded in 1995, so we'll be celebrating our 17th anniversary this June at the NRF. Uh, the company has really evolved into uh, a total solution provider. Uh, it's kind of the American success story. The company was started in a very small facility and now we're nationwide and we're actually shipping internationally. So it's been a great, great start for us and things are growing and we're coming off a fabulous year in 2011. What's your structure look like, na or nationally or internationally? We have uh, currently uh, national account managers throughout the United States. Uh, we absolutely are looking to hire some more people because business has been good, so yeah. it's a good thing. But the bottom line is we've got about uh, 13 national account managers out there, and uh, they're spread out geographically, and they each handle uh, accounts in their respective areas. What do you sell specifically if you can, for our younger viewers? The company started out, uh, Gus, as a tag company mm -hmm. and has evolved into, like I said, a total solution provider. Uh, we have RF EAS systems, and this year, as we speak, we're rolling out a new AM system, our Falcon system, uh, as well as a lot of different tags. We probably have more tags than just about anybody out there, and a lot of the solutions that we do provide came as a direct result of feedback we got from customers to protect specific products. So that's why we think that we kind of, we're different, different from our competition in as much as we are not afraid to take on a solution and uh, listen to the customer and, and figure it out with them. Mm. Tell us about your senior management team. Can you give us a picture of that? Sure. Uh, Adele Sage is our president and CEO. He founded the company. Uh, Steve Hauser recently joined our company as executive vice president, working directly with Adele. Uh, Denise Canfield is our senior VP of operations, and I head up the sales team. And uh, Craig Cunningham is our VP of business development. Can you tell us about some of your success stories? Uh, I think this year we've had, uh, again, several things that we started, uh, we really kicked into gear. We, we formulated our, our food and drug division mm -hmm. uh, in the middle of the year, and that really has taken off and gotten some good legs for us. Uh, again, we introduced the NRF, uh, our Combat 3 system. It's the only system out there that will work side by side with an RF or an AM system. It will stand parallel or side by side. It helps the system identify booster bags with the ORC problems out there. It also will identify a magnetic detacher. It will also tell the retailer if somebody's trying to jam the EAS system, which is mm -hmm. becoming more and more popular with these professional thieves. Mm -hmm. Now, your organization has been very involved with the ORC shows throughout the United States. You've been sponsors, you've been supporters. Yes. You know, can, can you talk to that a little bit and give the viewers an idea of what USS does in that regard? Yes. Uh, for the last five or six years, uh, USS is co-sponsored, co-hosted with many, many retailers throughout the company. These are regional conferences that maybe a lot of the folks that would attend those would not be able to go to NRF because of budgetary constraints. So we've had uh, many, many great uh, conferences are one day, there's no charge, it's for retailers, there's no selling initiative on our part. We've had them with Sears, with Home Depot, with Belk, with Ross, a, a, a bunch of great partners out there that really we network there, there's a lot of great presentations, and uh, there's a lot of takeaways. So our objective, and we're very proud of the fact that we want to give back to the LP community, we have over 300 years of LP experience in the USS sales team. And uh, you know, some of us have been senior leaders in the industry for many years, so to be able to give back and really support them, uh, it's, it means a lot to our company, and certainly we had great successes, and we're planning on an international conference uh, at the end of 2012 where we're going to have uh, some very, very uh, high profile speakers and we're trying to do a one, or one and a half day conference in Dallas later this year. <coughs> so y you say that we're, you know, 300 years of LP experience in the senior management group. I mean, Greg, both of you come out of the LP industry. Between the two of us, we're probably sitting at about 75, but we don't want that far <laughs> Don't add my yeah, ears, don't, please. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah. But if, if you talk about the transition for the both of you, coming over to the vendor community. Can you talk to that a little bit? Yeah, I think for me it was, uh, you know, it, back in 2009, um, a career move, uh, an opportunity to do something else. And I had been a customer of USS and a very satisfied customer of USS. I had known Adele and 
the opportunity to join his team. I think there were probably several other things I might have been able to do, but that was the one that really said, this is something I, I want to try. And um, a lot of learnings, um, uh, just a lot of great information, a great team to learn from, and uh, was fortunate enough to kind of fast track and took over the sales team in June of this last year. Mm -hmm. What's the strength of USS? If you were to take one strength, what is it? Customer service. Mm -hmm. I think from a standpoint, we've, we've added uh, quite a few new customers in 2011, and I think one of the things that, again, differentiated us and made, it, made that choice a little easier for them was our reputation is five star, our brand is well known, we do a lot of things in the industry to really be out in front of all the di different trends and technologies, but the customer service, as an example, we carry a lot of product on our shelf in our warehouse in Southern California. If you called today and you bought that product, it would ship today or by, by the latest tomorrow within 24 hours. So that's one of the things that we really pride ourselves on. But the communication, the timely follow-up, and just the attention to the detail, that, that's embedded in our culture at USS. It's really been the focus. It has it. been, and, and it will continue to be because uh, without customer satisfaction, we kind of use the... Uh, uh, raving fan. Uh, mm -hmm. we've, we've all read Ken that Blanche. book and we basically focus on being making every customer a raving fan of USS. Mm -hmm. Ken Blanchard, one of my favorite Absolutely. authors. Absolutely. It's a great book and if you haven't read it you might well pick it up. It's an easy read but it really talks about what customer service can do to differentiate you mm -hmm. and stand alone. You know, given all of the technological advances in the last few years, you know, what is USS doing to stay up to, to speed with all of that? Well, I think from a standpoint of, of tools and technology, uh, we spend a lot of time, money, and effort in our R&D lab. We have an R&D lab in our corporate office. We also have uh, an R&D lab overseas that uh, we work very, very closely with. And I think innovation, uh, we inter introduced uh, probably six or seven brand new products last year. We got several more that we're going to introduce here very quickly. Uh, some of the products we introduced last year, whether it be covert CCTV systems that uh, uh, are very, very highly popular with the ORC teams to try to identify. They're easy to move around. They're portable. They're lightweight. Uh, I can remember being in the industry in that case, weighed about 150 pounds. So <laughs> now it weighs 22 pounds, and it can be used with remote air cards, lots of good tools and technology there. And then our EAS systems, both our AM and RF system, Gus, can be tuned ro remotely. Mm -hmm. So if the store has Wi-Fi capability, we don't have to send a service tech out there to tune the system. We can do it remotely, and, and probably 80% of the issues can be help dealt with right from the corporate office, so from R&D lab. Any way you want to mention some of the new products now? <laughs> no, I'm going to surprise you, but yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll be unveiling quite a few new products at NRF and RELA this year, so we're excited about that. So how many shows are you going to in a year? Is USS we, present we're, at? We're a platinum sponsor at NRF and have been uh, for quite a few years. We also attend RELA. Uh, and again, we do a lot of the things in the ORC community and, and try to work with the different uh, police municipalities as well as the retailers. Mm. Given the tough economy, and you know, from your own perspective, what do you see in the future? What do you see the next couple of years? I think from a standpoint with us, uh, our business, our plan is to continue to, to build the business. I, product offerings, replenishment, or new products to existing customers, certainly always looking for new customers, which we've been able to really be successful in adding some of those. But I think building the infrastructure to service the systems, building our service team even bigger than it is today, and certainly being able to go out and really offer a great tool and a great solution to every retailer, no matter what their area of concern might be. Well, I, I want to thank you for appearing on the LP News Network today. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this edition of the LP News Network. Thank Thanks you very much.